The Statesboro Great Dane facility is actually, we opened it up in, in April of this year. This plant builds 100% refrigerated trailers. We will eventually build 5,000 trailers a year. In our facility, we build a body and we set it on a floor and install the rear frame and the doors, and then we work on any of the interior components that we have to install or, or any alterations that we need to do inside those trailers. There's a lot of people in Great Dane that have come from other manufacturers. We've seen how our competitors have done things. First-hand knowledge, we've seen what works, what doesn't work and our priority is to give a product to the customer that's going to have the sustainability in the, that they want. Uh, we want trailers to last 10, 10, 12, 15, 20 years depending on the, the customer and the type of trailer that we build them. You know, when we put new welding equipment in, we want the consistency to be the first priority and if it makes us a little more efficient, then great, but we want the consistency of the product so that every time we tell a customer, you won't have a problem with this, we're comfortable with that comment without you know, having to kind of hold back and say, well, depending on the guy that showed up that day. So uh, I think that's, that's the thing that sets us apart. Welding is probably one of the, the toughest procedures or quality items for us to manage. So it is very important for the quality of the trailer. We weld everything from the rear frame assembly, a lot of welding uh, on the uh, bogey operation, which is the tire assembly. The welder we use for our floor tracks the seams of the boards are all 12-inch uh, boards that make up the entire floor width and the, we track those seams and weld the full length. In, a, in the case of a 53-foot trailer, you're doing a uh, continuous 53-foot weld. The uh, Super Glaze 53-56 TM product, we've seen we've had less pickups, a uh, better quality weld. The uh, weld appearance in the floors, which is very visible to our customers. Uh, the weld appears to be better, looks better, and the weld quality is, is a higher quality. It's nice to be able to have a material that not only bonds the way that it should, but that is very easy for the welders and the welding equipment to, to give a nice smooth uh, appearance and give the cosmetic qualities that go with the structural qualities that you demand. And in the past, you've always had a lot of starts and stops and, and you know, they look like it just looks poor and the industry has somewhat grown to accept that but you know we're kind of trying to take that out and, and you know really Lincoln's kind of driving that for us right now to help us get rid of those those uh, blemishes so to speak in the in the appearance of a trailer floor you know we've always got Lincoln right there to help us to decide how we're gonna fit you know a part together and make it hold so it, it, it's great to have somebody that you can always go to as a resource to help with techniques or you know hey listen if you did you know, use a little different grade material or, you know, whatever it may be that could help us with our design issues or if I need to have more training for employees or if maybe we need more equipment um, that's, that's geared a little bit differently for a certain process. You know, our goal is to make sure that we meet all of the requirements that have been given to us by the customer, the salesman, and the engineering department. I said before, a lot of us have worked for other companies and a lot of times the, the goal was to talk the customer into what you did well and you know our goal is to do well what our customers need from us and i think that as long as we continue with that focus we should we should be very strong for a long time